Hey guys, what's up? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM and a flash review for Samsung Vibrant. Today we will be talking about Buy Winning Beta 2, brought to you by Charlie Sheen. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, uh, this is a 2.2.1 JPJ ROM for the Vibrant, running on the overstock kernel, obviously, uh, with the KB1 modem. So we're going to let it boot up and we'll take a more hands-on look here in just a second. Alright, so we've got our standard Galaxy S boot screen. Um, also, I guess you guys noticed that the, uh, the new uh, animation for the video uh, that's brought to us by uh, Niku, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. He uh, made that for me, and we're still working out some of the font and colors on that, as well as some of the effects, but uh, he's done a great job, and uh, a lot of you guys saw the face-to-face uh, -face episode one, um, and uh, I did request if someone had the skills to, uh, to see if they could draw me up something like that, and I think he did a great job, and I'm excited to finish that up. So, Anyways, uh, that was the rotary unlock screen. Uh, as mentioned, this is a JPJ ROM, which uh, is one of the later i9000 builds out right now. Uh, it does sport TouchWiz from the Galaxy S 4G, uh, so it's actually much smoother. Um, of course, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. You can always add your own launcher, but uh, it, it's actually a very nice uh, TouchWiz. There's zero lag to it, and it's very snappy. Um, it's a really good looking ROM though. It's got a lot of ginger effects. Obviously we can see the notification bar up top. Uh, no transparent glass, so we've got uh, more of a performance over um, looks uh, in that element. Uh, but anyways, um, you know, we've got six unlock screens. That's right, six, not five. And uh, let me show you what the guys did with this one. They've got something on here called the Star Wars Unlock. And it's just another rendition of an unlock. It's kind of like the Android, but it's themed and it's lower. So some people may end up liking it a little better that it's lower like that. I don't know. Check it out, though. It's uh, something cool uh, that goes into the ROM, and not a whole other ROMs have that. Uh, in addition to that, there is the uh, rotary unlock, the Android unlock glass puzzle, and epic unlock screens. And we're all familiar by now with what those look like. Um, in addition to all this, it does support the GPS2 fix. You've got the modified power menus with some cool theming um, as well. Um, you know, so it's it's kind of a graphical ROM at the same time. Uh, being a JPJ ROM, uh, it did support FFC with one small change. Uh, I don't know if I'm just blind or what. I couldn't find the uh, front-facing button on the original camera, but you can add my camera. Um, that I've extracted from a select ROM and you can add support for this as well so you can have the rear camera or you can simply change it up and have the front facing camera at the same time. Um, keep in mind we still have a lot of the front facing cameras left if you guys are interested. Uh, also uh, something that I wanted to point out is it's very easy to change the white balance from auto to incandescent so that way when you're in situations like this you can actually uh, clear things up and make things look a lot nicer. Um, a couple people have asked questions about that and you can actually change the lighting and the white balance and kind of uh, make the picture how you'd like it so no worries uh, with the front facing camera mod. Um, but this uh, the email client over here on the side, it's a nice email client. I uh, don't believe it supports search within Exchange email. may not be a big deal to some people, but it is to me, uh, although I still like this one better than the other ones because I think it's the most consistent one. And it does support global address lookup, which is very important to me, meaning I can type a couple letters of an employee's name and it will automatically pull up all the employees matching the first few letters I've typed. Um, in addition to all this, uh, we've got the newer keyboard that we've been seeing in some of the i9000 ROMs. It's got the bigger, bolder letters, a couple of different uh, locations for some of your familiar buttons, and uh, I think it's easier to type on. Uh, my wife does as well. I let her type on it, and uh, I really do like it. It's, it's a lot easier to type on in my opinion. Um, one thing I've noticed that isn't on here though is the microphone button which is quite an annoyance, but you guys all know how easy it is to add a keyboard into a ROM. 
Okay, with everything that we have mentioned so far, the settings have been modified to show full kernel version and hide the software update option as that won't be necessary on a custom ROM such as this. Uh, if we went into our mod version, we'd see it's by winning 2, uh, beta 2 that is. It's a JPJ build on the Overstock 2.1 build 1 kernel, which was compiled on March the 21st. And as mentioned, it rocks the KB1 modem, which is a very stable modem and used in probably about 90% of the vibrant builds. And it's got the correct model number and all that, so you'll have the correct market apps. Uh, also, being a JPJ ROM, this means this is going to work correctly with the front-facing camera on many apps such as Fring and Tango with correct orientation and front-facing support. A lot of us have found out that the front-facing camera mod works best with JPJ ROMs uh, and that's revision 2 uh, is that works best with JPJ ROMs. So this is a highly recommended ROM if you are a front-facing camera owner. So I uh, just wanted to point that out as well. Uh, actually a little more to add in on that keyboard, it's known as the Chinese keyboard. Uh, but it does support English and uh, Pinion, so that's what that keyboard is called, so that way I can call it something. So it does have a stay awake option, the kill battery, uh, they've actually killed the battery full pop-up that you get when you're plugged into AC power or USB power for charging. And uh, this ROM has been noted to be on more drugs than Charlie Sheen. It's extremely uh, modded up, so... That's just a joke. But uh, anyways, uh, it's got a lot of cool things out of the box, such as the battery left uh, thing. Obviously, the front-facing support being JPJ. It's got the SGS tools. I added Root Explorer, but um, you know a lot of other things, such as Titanium Backup. It's obviously pre-rooted, like any custom ROM. And there is a lot of cool things going on with the ROM itself. So it's got the Fugu tweaks, Starkey's RAM hacks. Uh, they've made some init tweaks. Uh, they've also obviously got a modified zip aligned uh, framework, like some build.prop tweaks, and all the usual things that you'd see in a custom ROM. So stay tuned after the break, and we'll show you guys uh, some of the scores that we received on Limpec and Quadrant, as well as maybe in Neocore. Um, but yeah, this is by winning Beta 2 based on the JPJ ROM. Uh, I really appreciate the support you guys have given me. We're getting close to 600,000 views, total upload views on YouTube, and close to 2,000 subscribers. And I couldn't do it without you guys. Also, remember that the Galaxy S download mode jigs are still on sale for just $8 shipped to your door. Only a little more for international customers. And they do wonders and help you flash firmware and get out of soft brick situations on a daily basis. Also, we've got the front-facing cameras still fully stocked. Don't wait. Get yours today. You can find the links below in the description by clicking Show More. Uh, so anyways, that's the buy winning Beta 2 ROM from um, XDA Developers, and uh, we really appreciate that. If you appreciate this ROM, please donate to the developer. He puts in a lot of time and effort on this ROM, and I think it's actually a really nice uh, piece of work. So. If you would like to donate to my cause as well, description, uh, the link in the description below will allow you to do that. Simply click the link and you may donate to me. Um, if not, no worries. I always appreciate subscriptions, views, and uh, comments. Leave them below. So I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for continuing to watch the videos despite the cease and desist on XDA developers. And uh, we look forward to more great things in the Vibrant community. So check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. And uh, we're here to help you. So leave a comment, subscribe, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Thanks a lot.